It finally looked like freedom had arrived in her mailbox. A special visa prompted in part by a Target 8 investigation last year that would keep a sex-smuggled woman from being forced back to China. But today, we're uncovering a mistake in that visa. It's causing more hardship for Kayla Roberts, even forcing the Grand Haven woman to put off cancer treatment. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker is here with a story you'll only see here. Ken? Brian and Sue, it's called the T-Visa, meant for victims of human trafficking, and it arrived in Kayla Roberts' mailbox earlier this month after a struggle with the U.S. government that took years. <laughs> it meant the U.S. government would not deport her to her native China as earlier threatened. I was just over the moon excited. I called my mom, I was screaming, I was doing happy dance and all of that. Kayla Roberts was 14 when so-called snakehead smuggled her into the U.S. 11 years ago for the sex trade. Police in San Diego rescued her before she was put to work. Last year, Target 8 exposed the risks if the U.S. deported her. She feared for her life at the hands of the snakeheads and at the hands of her father who sold her to them. Last year, the U.S. government finally relented, agreeing to grant her a special visa for victims of human trafficking, and she celebrated. I can get social security number, I can get a um, driver's license, and I can get a uh, Michigan ID, and I can drive, I can get a job, and I can finally live and move on. But when the T visa and work permit showed up in the mail, it hit her. Both had the wrong name, the name given her by the smugglers. I don't exist by that name. I didn't get married. In that name, I did not graduate from high school in that name. I did not graduate from college in that name. So all of my work that I have done do not exist by that name. Because of that mistake, she cannot get a driver's license. She cannot get a job. Disappointed and heartbroken, I was like, okay, after almost 11 years, and they still, I still have this problem when I didn't ask for this name, you know, to begin with. And she cannot get health insurance through her husband's work. About a month ago, she learned she has thyroid cancer, which has already cost several thousand dollars. Without health insurance, she says, she is putting off surgery. Until we can get insurance and then we can actually afford the surgery. I'm nervous. I am very nervous. Um, we've been, I feel like we have been down this road um, multiple times. And they say, you have, you've been approved. And then later on, something happens, say, well, you know, it doesn't really matter anymore. The deal is off the table. And so I am scared. A spokesman for the Department of Homeland Security's U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Office in Chicago said she could not comment on the case because of privacy, but she told us she would look into it. So two things, what is she going to do about treatment for this cancer and could she possibly be deported? Now, the deport, deportation issue is apparently not an issue anymore. That's, okay. that's a done deal. But, you know, without the, the proper documentation, she can't work, she can't drive a car, and she can't mm. get insurance under her husband. So, you know, they're hoping to do surgery within two months, but without these, the documents, yeah. they might have to put that off. She just doesn't know how long this is going to take. She's got such a positive outlook for something that is so impossibly frustrating. Oh, she really does. She's been through so many bumps along the way that these things, things almost Minor. seem small to her. Yeah. yeah. Ken Kolker. Ken, thank you.